Hello. Hey, you're the guy, right? I'm the guy, I guess. Okay, I've got something you need. All right, that looks creepy. Aww. <laughs> what is it? It's the skeletal paw of a cave bear. Okay, I thought you were gonna say Bigfoot, but uh. <laughs> I have a fossilized paw of a cave bear. I got the cave bear paw at a fossil show. I've had it for about five years, so I think it's time for it to move. I'm hoping to sell it for about $1,000. This is from a cave bear. Like we're talking like old, like thousands and thousands of years ago, cave mm -hmm. bear. Pleistocene times. What times? Pleistocene. Pleistocene. Yes. This was back when cavemen were wandering around Europe, and this guy was from Romania, about 20 to 30,000 years old. Okay. Cave bears more or less died away when the Ice Age went away. They lived in caves, so when these bears did pass away, their bones got a little bit preserved because right. they were inside caves. Right. Um, they were sharing the caves with the cavemen. Uh, the only way those two were sharing a cave is if the humans were the meals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really cool. Um, so it's all fossilized. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is this all wired together or? Um, wire and I suspect some glue. Okay. Mm -hmm. These things are definitely collectible. As yeah. a matter of fact, the whole fossil thing is sort of hot right now. There you go. You need this. So you're looking to sell this, correct? I am. Yes. Okay. How much are you looking for? A thousand. Okay. I have no idea if that's a great price, but I have a friend that's a paleontologist. Oh, great. Uh, so let me give him a call and have him take a look at it because um, I am, I'm sort of lost here. I'll be right back. All right. So I have a lady in the store with what she says is a fossilized cave bear paw and that it's over 10,000 years old. Fossils are super collectible right now and they bring good money, but I have no idea if this thing's real or what it's worth. So I've called in Andre, my paleontologist friend, and he's gonna help us out. This young lady right here has a cave bear claw. Absolutely, this is Ursus Spelius. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Okay, hold on. Ursus <laughs> Spelius? Yeah, we're gonna talk some Latin. Uh, Ursus Spelius is the uh, scientific name of the cave bear. Uh, these were massive animals that ranged uh, all over Europe and Asia. Okay. Really kind of an interesting fact about the cave bears is everybody thinks they're these big terrifying carnivores, but studying their teeth, scientists have noticed their teeth started to change from carnivore-based diet to more herbivore-based diet. So believe it or not, these gigantic bears probably ate more vegetables than meat. But you still wouldn't want to piss them off. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> one swat of a cave bear and, you know, break your neck. These animals are remarkable. They were the size of a Kodiak grizzly, standing 10 or 12 feet tall. I mean, I've gotten a lot of fossils over the years and stuff like that, so a lot of times some of these are replaced. With these cave bear hands and feet, there's so much original material out there that generally it's not really worth it to fake these, but my only concerns would be any kind of damaging preservation uh, articulating it. Uh, a lot of people like to put metal inside of the bones. That's something I would look for. Yeah, I see the metal in there now. So that's typical, it's not ideal. I see some putty work done right here to attach all those ankle bones together. Uh, that's also typical. I don't see anything that stands out as uh, unusual. Okay, so this is all 100% like 30,000 year old bear. This specimen is 100% fossil. So what's it worth, retail value? These are super cool because it's a bear paw, but these are fairly common. If this came into the museum, I would appraise it at about $900. Thanks, man, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, all right, so how much did you want for this? Well, a thousand, so you're not gonna give me a thousand. Uh, no. <laughs> What's the best you can offer me? 400 bucks. Ooh, can you do 500? I'll go four and a quarter, that's really the best I can go. Can you squeak it up to 450? No, 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 <laughs> I mean, these things are neat. They do sell, oh. but they take a long time. Okay, well, I like you, 425, all right. <laughs> all right, sweet. I will meet you right over there. We'll do some paperwork, I'll get you paid. Okay. 
I went for 425. It was a lot lower than I wanted to go, but um, I caved. Um, got my attention. <laughs> So do you know what dinosaur this is from? I don't. It was my grandfather's. I have no idea. I just know that it's a dinosaur bone. It's a big dinosaur. Yes. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my grandfather's dinosaur bone. He's had art all over his house, and this was one of the things that was displayed. I'm not even sure if it's just a piece of art or if it's a real dinosaur bone. If I'm able to make a deal, I'm getting a mommy makeover and going to Hawaii. I am just, like, baffled. To find something this big and intact is incredible. In the 1800s, we realized that, hey, there was really big animals walking around the planet at one time. And soon after, archaeologists started racing to excavate whatever fossils they could find. So there were certain deposits in the United States where there's just massive amounts of them. Right. So how much do you want for this thing? I was thinking $40,000. $40,000. It's pretty I'm, old. OK. Um, we don't even know what kind of dinosaur it's from. Uh, okay. I also know that a lot of times they'll find, say, this bone right here and cast the rest of it in plaster. So a lot of times, these dinosaur bones are not all complete. Sometimes only, you know, that might be real dinosaur. Uh, uh, oh. OK. All right. All right. I'm going to put that back for you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, oh, there, there we go. go. Put his toe back. Put his toe back. <laughs> so, like, let, let me get someone down here to see if the entire thing is real. And he should be able to tell us the dinosaur's name. Awesome. That'd be, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, it was Bob the dinosaur. Right. right. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to give this guy a call, and I'm going to get him down here, and we'll get this figured out. Perfect. Just goes to prove you never know what's going to walk through that door. <laughs> right. I'm totally happy with an expert coming in. I'm really excited to see if it's real and what it's worth. So there it is. Wow. I think it's real. Hi, how are you? <laughs> All I know is it's a dinosaur leg. This is a Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus was a long-necked dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic period. It's a quadrupedal dinosaur, where, uh, walked on four legs. OK. To authenticate, we'll take a look at this to see if there's any Cast pieces, weight is going to be the first indicator. That definitely feels like a cast toe. OK. Uh, that's not that big a deal. Looks like these little toes. Well, there we're starting to get into some real bones. These metacarpals, these are real. All right. If it were cast, this would be much lighter. So that's great. The real value is in the real bones, uh, the humerus, the, the radius, and the ulna. That's where the meat of the piece is. This is kind of the details. All right. The dead giveaway is going to be if we can see any cell structure. I'm going to come around this side, Rick. All right. You see the black and white difference there? Uh-huh. That looks like calcite that's infilled the bone cells. So this bone, this is definitely real. OK. Take a look at the humerus. Look at that. You see that, that cell structure in there? Yeah. Yeah, this bone is definitely legit. OK. So the big question, what do these things go for? If this thing came into my museum, I'd be very comfortable appraising it at 25000 Well, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so what do you think of that? So I'm pleased that it's, for the majority of it, is authentic. I mean, what would you take for it? So what about 21000 I'll give you fifteen grand for it. How about twenty? I'll tell you what, I'll give you 18000 not a penny more. That's that's my top dollar. Sold. Sweet. Um, I will meet you right over there, and we'll do some paperwork. Thank you. I just bought a dinosaur leg. I guess this is a first for everything. So what exactly is this? This is an elephant bird egg. OK. I bought it for my business. I sell fossils and other natural history things. I thought you were going to say you sell eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to try to sell my elephant bird egg. I'm hoping to get $2,500 for the egg. I've had the egg for 15 years. I think it's about time that uh, somebody else gets some enjoyment out of it. This is interesting. So I know a little bit about the uh, elephant bird. But basically, they were the biggest birds ever. Looked like an ostrich, but it weighed twice as much. It was like a foot taller. Right. In fact, I have 
a very old trading card, the picture <laughs> of the elephant bird. This thing would be scary to be around. I mean, yeah, I think, it's, so. I think ostriches, ostriches are scary. Ostriches are scary enough. <laughs> I know they dig these things up and they like piece them together from several eggshells. Yeah, from several eggs. Yeah, it's it's all these are little pieces. Uh, so this is made of all elephant bird eggshell, but not from one egg. All right, looks like they did a good job. It's really, really interesting. They're super collectible. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, fossils nowadays, they're sort of on fire. People are really, really getting into it here lately. How much are you looking to get out of it? I'm thinking 2,500. Okay, um, tell you the truth, I have no idea if that's a good number or if it's even made out of eggshells. Okay. So if you don't mind, I do have a friend, he's a paleontologist. If I can get him down here to take a look at it. I think that's great. Okay, I'll be back here in a little bit. All right. That's right, I'm calling in a expert. <laughs> wow, elephant bird. That's what she says. May I? Absolutely. Wow. These are pretty rare. They're often faked too, though. These fossils are often faked because they are rare and valuable. Porcelain is something that's easily fakeable with these types of eggshells. They're large, they're heavy, and that's a material that can pass to a lot of untrained eyes. So elephant birds could get up to 10 feet tall and weigh as much as 1,600 pounds. So obviously they laid a big egg. This is actually one of the larger eggs that I've seen. Some were smaller, but this is well within range of what we would expect to see for an elephant bird. Okay. so. Is it real? It looks real, but we need to take a closer look. Okay. I'd like to take a look at the surface texture. This lens is gonna tell us all we need to know about the surface of the shell. Let's see here. Wow, there it is, Rick. See those long grooves in the shell right there? That's what we'd expect to see from an elephant bird. Okay, so we have an actual elephant bird egg. We do have an actual okay. elephant bird egg. It is a composite. Who knows how many different eggs this thing is made of. But there is some condition issues that I'd like to point out. All of these abrasions here, that's where the pieces didn't quite fit together. Mm -hmm. So rather than taking the time to find pieces that fit better, they just kind of ground them into place. That's really gonna affect the value. Mm -hmm. So tell me, is it worth it? Elephant load of cash? I would appraise this egg $5,900, I think is a is a fair appraisal of this specimen. I like your paleontologist. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so you want $2,500 for it? Uh, well, now I'm thinking 3,000. <sighs> it's a very small market, it's very weird. It will eventually sell. Tell you what, I'll give you $2,800 for it. That's more than a fair price. But you sure you can't do 3000 no. on it? No. I'm offering you more than you were asking. I know, that's true. But your paleontologist really got my hopes up. <laughs> 2800 is the best I could do. If it's really your best, fine. OK. All right, sweet, we you have a deal. It. If you just go around the corner, do some paperwork, I'll get you paid. OK. I think it's a fair enough price. It's more than I came in for, so I'm happy. <laughs>